Hello students, welcome to Fiddle Friday. Every Friday at 3 o'clock from, uh, at least for this whole month, I'm going to be doing classes uh, at 3 o'clock for students interested in learning the fiddle. Um, we're starting courses uh, tomorrow and uh, really getting some ideas of what to do next month and I uh, definitely think I want to have some fiddle courses. So definitely stay tuned and um, we actually have somebody I'm talking to as well that teaches a Cape Breton style fiddle and also uh, some other styles. So we're going to get him on board and uh, offer some courses on the site. So today we're actually going to be learning uh, Dixie, which is a good song that uh, every fiddle player should know at some point. It's in the um, You Can Teach Yourself Fiddling book. So many of you guys uh, got this book here recently for a lot of the classes we've been doing. I uh, just sent it over to Robert. Uh, so if you guys do have interest in getting the music, let me know, and I'll send it over to you via email, uh, rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. So Dixie is in the key of D major, and uh, it's got some, you know, Tricky rhythms and stuff here and there, but it's not too bad. It's got some sliding that we're going to suggest to you guys, and uh, just some different things to make it sound cool. So here's the uh, the Dixie song, so you guys can know what song we're going to be working with. <laughs> So uh, let's start off by playing the uh, D major scale, just to kind of warm up. I want you guys to use the whole bow. Try to use lots of index finger. And uh, make sure you're extending your arm out, bending the wrist, coming back. So uh, Dixie looks like this. You can see I already have kind of some slides in there. So if you guys uh, don't know what slides are, it's basically where we take, say, the pitch of the note and we kind of work our way towards it like this. Like that. So uh, if you slide a two, that's what you do. If you slide a one, basically you start off kind of below where the note starts and kind of work your way into the one like this. Like that. And then also there's what we call a downslide where we take the pitch of the note and kind of work our way downwards like this. Like that. So I'm going to put some suggested slides in this piece. So to start, I think we should be sliding the B's. And then uh, when we go from a B to an A, we're going to do a downslide. So this is kind of what the um, music looks like. You can see we're going to slide up into a, a B, and we're going to slide down from the B to the A. And I'd like you guys to do a slide on the, the F sharp right there, and then one on the D. Anytime you have a long note, it's typically a good spot to slide. Hey, Pernandu, how you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, we're working you. out of the um, fiddle book, just to let you know. Okay, so let's uh, show you guys the close-up of the fingers and have you guys try Dixie with some slides. So that's the beginning part of it, and uh, it's, in fiddle, it's actually a lot uh, more universal if you use open strings. So a lot of spots where I would suggest for you guys to use fours, it's actually totally fine to use opens. So an example of a spot where that would be is um, right here. In classical, we would have you do that as a four, but in this particular case, we're going to have you do it as a open. That's totally fine. Oh my god, he's grown, huh? 
No, not my son. Hey, Henry. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, friend. Hold on. Henry? Yeah, yeah I'm just on the phone. Uh, on the phone unit, uh, Michael uh, at a nursing home seeing my mom. So, I'm. Oh, I think he doesn't know he's talking to us. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, working with the um, the first little bit there. So, yeah, I highly recommend you guys do the uh, open string there. Let's keep going to the next part. <laughs> That was uh, Whistling Dixie in D major. So the next thing is going to be, you know, working up speed for you guys. So some things uh, that are going to really help you guys with that is making sure that you have a relaxed bow grip, making sure that your hand's nice and loose, and then uh, use a lot of front finger to kind of guide the bow. So why don't you guys go ahead and try just playing open strings uh, real quick back and forth. Just try eighth notes like this. <laughs> Notice I'm not using my arm to kind of come out like this. I'm just going. What you could try to do is actually put your arm up against the wall here so that you only have your wrist to kind of work with, and then you can kind of practice using the index more. So right here up against the wall. Like that. So that's kind of the idea on how to start getting your uh, bow to move faster. So uh, anytime you work up speed and fiddle music, it's going to sound uh, better and better. So let's try it um, kind of medium speed this time. Skip down. So that was kind of medium speed. And notice that I didn't use maybe the whole bow. I was kind of more in, in this area here instead of using more at the beginning, like, you know, at the beginning when I did slow. No, more. Kind of more like that. Okay. All right, so that's kind of medium speed. You can always work it up with a metronome. Uh, nice thing about this piece is it's in D major, which is kind of the first key that you learn on violin, so it's not too bad as far as the finger spots. Everything is just high twos mainly. 
and normal ones, threes. So nothing real complex as far as the fingering. So this could actually be a really good piece for you guys to, to first uh, work up speed in a, in a fiddle piece. So, all right, let's try it a little faster yet. yet. All right, so this would be maybe for people who've been playing really long time on the violin, fiddle. Here's really fast. as quick as you can. Don't worry about getting maybe up to that speed, but certainly the faster fiddle tunes go, the, the better they sound. Uh, fiddle is all about playing fast. When you start to get more advanced fiddle, it's not really about like shifting as much as it is just playing faster and faster with different combinations. Um, even like uh, key signatures don't get too complex in fiddle, so it's just uh, sawing away. That's why a lot of fiddle players have their bow holds way up here. They just really work on sawing away and uh, compared to classical where it's all about you know, technique at the frog and different things like that. So it's a lot of fun. All right, so uh, we just worked through page 17 of the book. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Email me anytime. I think next week we're going to learn uh, Wildflower and Angelina Baker, uh, which will be the next songs in the book. So we're getting close to halfway through. Lots of good stuff in here, so I highly encourage you guys to get this. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or Whatever, it actually has double stops in the middle of the book, so we're beginning to double stops uh, eventually. And um, different uh, Irish tunes, different key signatures, a whole bunch of good stuff. And uh, I highly encourage you guys to sign up for my courses. Um, starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing our advanced class, uh, teaching you guys the uh, advanced concerto in Suzuki Book 6. And then uh, all next week, we're going to be having our first week of all our courses. So we're going to have uh, basically all different levels of violin covered uh, for three weeks. And then in February, we're going to be offering probably more courses with different teachers and such. But um, I'll encourage you guys to get, get signed up for a course. And uh, um, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll basically be a program where it's going to guide you through, you know, step by step to learn different things at different levels. And then also keep you guys accountable with practicing and uh, submitting assignments. And uh, actually, I'm going to be giving each of you guys like a grade or like a pass or fail type thing at the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, look forward to working with you all and uh, all the guys here in the class today. Feel free to stick around. Have a good day.